many visually impaired people rely on guide dogs to help them navigate their world, but what happens when the one who is going blind is the dog? Well, sadly, there aren't a lot of options, but two Georgia friends are hoping to change that, and the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has their story. For a lot of us, our dogs are like family, and it's really difficult to watch your dog gradually lose vision. Lauren Janice is going through that right now. Lauren Janice bakes the kind of treats dogs love and owners feel good about. They're all natural, they're organic. They're called Big Daddy Biscuits. We have a peanut butter, turkey bacon. Come here. Named after her taste tester. And if it doesn't pass this test, then they don't go out the door. Big Daddy, an American bulldog, was rescued off the streets of Atlanta by Lauren's friend Vicky. And as he settled into her home, Lauren noticed it. Big Daddy was running into things. The reason? He had severe cataracts in both eyes and a blinding infection called toxoplasmosis. That was a hard time. I just, it was, I, I didn't realize I cried so much realizing that he was going to go blind. Veterinary ophthalmologist Dr. Stacy Andrew treats about a half dozen blind dogs each week in her clinic at Georgia Veterinary Specialist. Optic nerve looks beautiful. And she says, like Big Daddy, they often become hesitant, keeping their heads down, smelling what they can no longer see. I think a lot of dogs, especially the bigger dogs, get anxious if they lose their vision quickly. Come on, Sky Boy. Dory Stratton's dog, Scotty Boy, Boy, is also blind. He was just having a hard time navigating, and I said, there's got to be something we can do to help him. That's when Dory called Ellen, who runs an alterations business. Good. She said, I want something to wrap around his body comfortably, something that'll extend beyond his face to keep him from banging his nose. And that's how the halo vest was born. Oscar here is wearing one of the first prototypes of this vest, and it took a while to find the right material, the right way to secure the wire, and the right material for the halo. But after about six weeks, they found it. Russ, look, look, he's not, he's not bumping his head. It's working, it's working. Yeah. Moses, a 13-year-old blind Scotty rescue, was one of Halo Vest's first customers. And he got where he kept his head down, so we hit his forehead all the time. With the vest, it's different because he bounces off. The, uh, the halo bounces off the furniture. This is a bumper. Each halo vest is handmade, and Dr. Andrew says a vest like this can help. I just think that it would be a shame to say my dog has lost its vision, so I don't want this dog anymore. Come on. Lauren says she will gladly become Big Daddy's guy because in a lot of ways, he's the one who's opened her eyes. I'm proud that he's my dog. I'm very proud that um, that Vicky found him, that brought him into my life. I didn't know I'd have that much love for an animal that completely changed my life. And last week, Dory and Ellen sent Big Daddy his own halo vest. Dr. Andrew says if you're noticing that your dog is hesitating in low light or seems to be having trouble seeing, get it checked out by your vet. And if you want to read more about this halo vest, just go to myfoxatlanta.com.